Hi everyone, my name is Eric Rona or Snipedown. I am a pro Apex Legends player for TSM and I'm here to give you some tips on how to play Bloodhound at the professional level. One of the biggest things for me when I'm playing Bloodhound is I need to know exactly what my role is on my team. Bloodhound is a very aggressive character. You are to use him to try and find openings. You can use his scans to give your team information. And another thing is you need to be ready to back off in these situations just as fast as you go in. So Bloodhound, you can get a lot of information, but your teammates may not be able to follow up as much as you. It's really good to be able to play with a character like a Gibraltar or a, even a lifeline because it is very easy to get too far ahead of yourself. And if that happens, your team needs to be able to back you up with some sort of defense character. Something that you really need to do with his kit specifically is take time in between each one of your scans to then push yourself forward up on the map. Um, if I see a scan and I see one person on the first floor, let's say, and two of this other, uh, two of my opponent's teammates on the top floor i know that the person on the top floor is out of position i can call that and i can get my team to play aggressive on that one character which is one thing that bloodhound has above every other legend in this game is the ability to to jump on that information that other players can't have if i was personally to have to put bloodhound on a tier list for ranked characters or even competitive characters i would definitely put him in that s tier just based off of the information that he's able to provide you and your team it's it's you see through walls you're basically wall hacking in a sense and you also have the recon ability of being able to scan beacons you're able to then use that information to get a spot early that you know the zone might be finishing on or you can use that to determine if you need to play edge when it comes to bloodhound there are definitely certain team comps that i think would be a lot better for his skill set one of those is going to include a Gibraltar every single time. Like I said, it's very easy to get ahead of yourself with Bloodhound. You have extra speed. You can actually find yourself away from your team way quicker than you expect. And having a Gibraltar for when you do put yourself in a bad situation, having your back with his bubbles, you can back off, you can heal, you can do whatever it is, is huge. Wraith's portal is huge. Once again, if you're in and you need to back off, you have Gibraltar bubble and Wraith can just portal you right out there into safety. It's very easy to get ahead of yourself. And these are the two characters, in my opinion, that can work just as good with his aggression and also counter the fact that it's easy to get two in, two in the zone and make a bad play. And those characters can help you get out of those situations just as much when it comes to using bloodhounds abilities one of the biggest things that you are going to have to get used to is using his Q appropriately which is his ability to scan through walls scan up to a certain distance and a lot of times this ability can give you really important information as well as almost give you a false sense of security on what the play is that you need to make so one of the biggest things for me is i do not just spam my q ability every single time i have it up i'm using it whenever my team is pushing into an area that has a bunch of buildings um, we're pushing into areas that we don't know what's around the corner and you're really using it as a recon ability to try and make sure that there's not an enemy group or an enemy team that is just waiting for you around a corner without you having that knowledge now you can use his footsteps to kind of get some of this information but it's not nearly as clear as using his q ability the maximum value for this spell specifically is just to make sure that your team is not going to get put in a situation where you don't know what you're running into in front of you one of the biggest skill gaps with bloodhound is knowing when to use his q ability and when not to obviously when you're in his ultimate or you get your cooldown a lot quicker so you can be a little more spammy with it but when you're trying to uh, push a team or push into a building or whatever it is you you don't want to just start the fight by instantly throwing your Q out there and then all of a sudden you have to wait 20 seconds for the next one. If you know you're able to move in without having to use the ability, get as close as you can, then start to think of a plan with your team and then you scan, you get that information on where everyone is at, but you don't want to just be throwing your Q out just for information without actually being in a position to do something about it. Otherwise, an enemy team, if they're good enough, could take the, that advantage of you not being aware and drop on you just because you don't have your ability when you could have held on to it a little longer. One of Bloodhound's most special abilities is the recon passive where he can scan beacons. My team specifically loves to land center of the map. We have a high beacon rate. So if we hit that beacon and we realize it's a zone that we can get to quickly, 
We use that information, get to the end zone, and we try and hold the building down for the rest of the game. Now, a lot of people who play Bloodhound are going to think, why would you do that? You play him to get kills. You can be more aggressive with this character. You're not stopping yourself from being aggressive. There can still be fights that you can go third party or whatever it is, but getting that information early, I'd much rather guarantee myself a spot in an end game than try and force fights around edge where you can get third partied or situations go bad very quickly. When it comes to Bloodhound's passive with seeing footsteps, seeing actions on the map, this is just information that you just need to be divulging to your teammates. If someone was walking in an area two minutes ago, that's really not that important of information. You have no idea where that person could have gone. Now, if you see anything within a minute, uh, especially if it's anything earlier than that, you need to be telling your teammates exactly which way this team was going, which way they were coming from. If you ever see footsteps, just randomly stop. Might be a good time to scan because you might have a team that just decided, hey, this is a good spot to try and maybe rat out for some kills on a team that's unaware luckily you're bloodhound so you should not be unaware and just using this information it's not going to give you that crazy of an advantage but you will find people hiding you will find out where teams went and this information needs to be something that you vocalize to your team consistently when it comes to using bloodhound's ultimate my favorite ultimate i am extremely happy when i get to pop this pop the dog so it is a quick cooldown. I think it's a little over two minutes, um, but this ability is specifically used for your team to try and play aggressive. There are other instances that you can use it defensively, but when I'm using my ultimate one, I'm calling out exactly when I'm gonna be popping the ultimate. 35 seconds, you have 35 seconds plus five seconds after every knock you get. And if you're within 15 seconds to zero seconds and you get a knock, the timer gets reset to 15 seconds. I also use that to my advantage, depending on the information I have. Because I'm an aggressive character, I want to get in your face. I want you to feel pressured. That is my job. And then my teammates need to be saying to me exactly what it is that they're doing when they have the information on these scans as well now just because you're in your ultimate you're not invincible it's very easy to get ahead of yourself you have 30 percent extra movement speed which is going to cause you to get separated from your team sometimes which is why you really need to be vocal with you and your team on exactly what it is that you guys are doing or you're going to get split up one of you is going to get caught out and it's bad news for everybody bloodhounds ultimate is the ultimate flanking ability when i have information on someone that they are alone or out of position i'm super comfortable taking my 1v1s i'm going to try and single person out do some damage back up and again do some more damage etc repeat the process your ult comes back quickly do not be stingy with your ultimate it's very easy to just think oh I, this is a aggressive ability i'm only going to use this when my team needs to fight no your life comes first it's a battle royale you need to make sure that you're alive sometimes your team puts themselves in bad situations and you need to have his ult and use that movement speed to just get out of there and you need to play selfish with bloodhound because of the of, because of these abilities if i could sum up how to play bloodhound in one line I, it would honestly just be imp divulging important information being able to communicate with your team what you're seeing is such an underappreciated asset of being a professional player that i think it's overlooked but honestly, the information that you're able to get to your teammates is more important than anything else that this character allows you to do. Thank you guys for watching once again. And if you are interested in seeing more tips and tricks videos and high depth in analysis of Bloodhound and how to use him specifically, you can check that out on my YouTube where I go really in depth on exactly what I'm thinking and why I'm doing the plays I'm doing. And I've had a lot of good reception on those videos. I guarantee it will help you guys out and I hope to see you guys out there on the battlefield.